Welcome to the five point series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic and we're picking up on the 15th of November 1962 which is a couple of months on since the end of the last part and in this part I want to do several things one I want to get through the winter and see how well our new town functions I mean at the moment it's quite happy but of course winter can make a big difference and the other thing is that I need to start thinking about a permanent solution for our um, waste disposal here because this isn't working particularly that efficiency because this small little burning waste dump here while it's producing stuff isn't really doing what it should be so we're going to put in a permanent solution to that also I want to get this road system upgraded so that we can start getting quite serious about the fact that uh, we need the road up here to be able to service this area. Now to give you an update of where we are, because we are a couple of months on from the end of the last part, what I've done here is I've put in uh, the revised sewage lines to get a permanent solution, because this is, is, is temporary, but it's kind of working. So what I've done is, is that actually connected? That doesn't look like it's actually connected. No, it's not. Okay, I didn't... I think I thought it looked a bit odd. Um, took you in there like that. Yeah. And so one of our next priorities is going to be building this line here. Now it all it really needs is prefabs, and it's but it's going to be very expensive to build. The, also, the other problem is that we've got to build this thing out here, which is a long way out. And I think what I'm going to do is, what do we need for ground works? Gravel, concrete and asphalt. Okay. What I'm going to do is get the ground works crew on that because we need to build the outfall first and it's going to take a long time to get out here. Now the, we're getting a little bit of a queue here, which is something I want to fix. Now something else I want to work on is over here because I'm not happy about the fact that we've got these farms here. Uh, where is this guy? Where are you? Yeah, um, I'm going to send you. It's time. I don't think you're particularly that effective, so we're going to send you there. And the other thing that I'm, I'm going to do is going to cost me money, but I really feel that we need to get some fertilizer in here but to try and save a little bit of money uh, we're going to reduce this load down to 50% or 40% because it's going to spend money we're not really making the money at the moment I'm not exactly sure what's draining the money away but it's probably steel and electronics yeah but I don't think it's actually my construction office because uh, oh you're working on the small panel factory that's it yeah <laughs> so that's the current situation we've got lots of things to do but one of the th main things I do want to do in fact get you up on high priority and also this one well it looks like we've finished this road we've now got a road there and we, this road should be open if I can see anyone. Let me just speed the game up a little bit. Yeah, you're going that way now. So what I can do now is get that road back. And I want to I'm going to pick up. And to begin with, we're to do that what I want now is to upgrade this now another curiosity problem I've got is over here because um, this hunting lodge thing was uh, set up to how can you say well, to, for actually machine repairs if I show you here but for some reason the game wasn't delivering to it and I thought it was the mud footpath so what I hit on this bright idea that I would 
redo the road but what I actually did do was actually accidentally disconnect it so I'm now stuck with this building because I can't demolish it because there's no road to it so I've got a bit of a scheme here and I'm actually going to try and compensate by putting that in get the road through on that and I put an asphalt path in here and what I want to do is, is put that connection there, clean this up and see if we can get the road back in and get this actually demolished because it's a bit of a pain in the neck. While we're here, uh, at the moment we're um, searching television so that hopefully we will be able to start trying to improve our overall loyalty which is on the up, we've got to 39% and we've got 84% happiness, but that will probably drop during the uh, winter. I just want to check the my prefab factory over here, because if we're going to build sewage blinds, we want this actually built. Uh, it's going to cost us a lot, quite a lot in steel. That's the only downside, but that's why I'm keeping them. We, if we have to borrow the money, we'll borrow the money. My farming over here, with the, I think having the the new uh, the new tractors in here has made a difference but it's not uh, working as well as I thought it would so we still got some here and we're not really getting the crops in here to drive our overall industries although I think most of it is in here um, yeah I think we're kind of getting there anyway let me just get down to the permanent solution for the waste plant here and what we got here is try and get this built because what I want to do is I mean I think this is working okay the problem is there's this little disposal thingy here so what I want to do is put in a separation plant in here now this in itself I'm not going to I can say I'm not that interested in building this from the get-go but I want to plan it then so we're gonna put a separation plant there so we have a small incinerator I put the small incinerator push that in a little bit closer I don't want to build the road just yet and then we can oops no good connection set that get this built is this finished no we still need a little bit of asphalt high priority okay um, what I'm doing at the moment is manage manually managing as many roads as possible so we've got this in here and of course what we're going to have to do is put in a dump on this side I want a uh, medium dump on this side for the ash this one we put in about like that And what that would do and what the idea is is we'll build the incineration plant first and then uh, and we can work it get it working with this then eventually what we will do is then build the separation plant here and then we'll take it from there but at the moment I'm just want the incinerator but I want that separation plant in there now the next thing I want to put in because we, we're getting a few vehicles now piling up here which I want to scrap so what we're going to do oh, money's getting very low <laughs> how are we doing oh we're making a little bit of profit now um, so back to what I was doing where is it we want a small scrapping facility wow that's big now there's no point connecting up the gravel let's see if I put it that way uh, to this because simply because this only produces metallic waste which is um, 
and that's the soon because of course scrap miracle scrapping has two modes the first mode is um just turn everything into metallic waste which is not pretty inefficient what the other mode is slower but what we get out of it is some components and other bits and pieces and that's what i'm kind of aiming for I'm kind of going to pull you back more this way so we can put a warehouse off this. So if I put you in about there, and we'll put an asphalt rope just there. And then what I'd like here is a small store thing too big. Storage. A rural store here will work quite nicely because anything that comes out of our scrapping process will be well I want to get rid of it's ASAAP I think if we put like just oh, there a little bit there get you there let's grab all uh, get straight to asphalt so this is our new complex here but that road finished is it yeah it looks like it's finished so we can now put in the asphalt connections there um, I certainly I'm not worried about this road but I am I would like to get that and that built and that built But this has to be the priority. So, okay, how are we doing here? Any complaints? Anybody un getting unhappy? Uh, that's where I need to keep an eye on things. Okay, it looks like our farms have gone over. I mean, they're not going to win any awards of happiness up here. 63%. The other thing I'm also thinking about is, is this road being built now? Um, I actually don't think that will work. Um, can you get to church? No. Nope. Uh -huh. Kind of. to put a let's cancel I think if we oops I thought maybe if we give them some religion maybe if I can get it that it won't go in there okay I'm going to have to stick with uh, maybe religion isn't quite so important. <laughs> I want to check that. I think we're doing okay. Um, now, if you watch the last part, I was talking a little bit about the railway line here. So I think because we don't really have a lot to do at the moment, I think I can oops get rid of that rail line here. And what I want to do concrete I want this rail line to kind of go a little bit further south like that than it did before. Because we've got this road connection here. Uh, I want to put a roundabout in it. In fact, I could probably take it even further south, actually. I think cancel that. 
I don't know why I said self actually because it's uh, there's no actual compass on in this game. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go a little bit closer to the water. Um, I mean, it might affect the, our port facility, but I think I'm prepared to take that chance. I want to run that out there. Then now this is going to be quite an important junction, so I want it to be fairly extravagant. Something like that. What that will do is get through there. Here, I want a roundabout, but I need to build one somewhere. I can kind of cut and paste it in. Uh, let me just see if I go go out to over here. My work area. I don't know if I've got a roundabout out here. Because the problem with the white snow is fire. Wow, what's that? Right. Where's my fire engines coming from? Fire in winter is always a pain in the neck. I think they'll get that because it's a building it's the small buildings especially power infrastructure is really weak during winter say for example something like this because these burn down relatively quickly and what happens is that the fire trucks can't get there quick enough in fact i do need to think a little bit about upgrading the roads because here we got mud roads and these are particularly, this one here, these are particularly vulnerable for snow. Oh, what have we got here? What's up with you? Why are you not connected to the road? That's trapped me. How on earth am I going to get out of here? Got the small cement plant there. We've got 172 tons of cement there. Got this problem with the pavement pathway there. If I put you to there. Um. Actually, right, we're going to have to build a footpath to there. Because that will do it. And then if I take this node out, right, and then we'll have to demolish that bit of footpath there. So you're going to have to sit there, I'm afraid, until I can get you out. Um, that was a little bit of a trap shot, wasn't it? We need to get rid of this bit of footpath there. One thing I love about realistic mode. How come I've got two vehicles trapped? I don't understand why this one's but that other vehicle just went in there and didn't get trapped was that an imaginary vehicle right high priority build that for me please game
Okay, we've got research finished. And we're... Right, we've... what can we research now? Um, it may sound odd, but I think I'm running out of... Actually, I think what we're going to do is go for steel recycling. Um, I think I want that. Because we, if we get metallic scrap, which we're accumulating from, uh, where is it? Here. We are getting some metallic scrap. So there might be an opportunity to actually turn that into steel, which will offset some of our export costs. Um... It's annoying. It's very expensive still going out here. How much more steel do we need here? We only need about another eight, about twenty four tons. 18 okay we've got another 15 tons of steel okay we're gonna have to keep an eye on that can't instigate another building project until that's actually finished okay just keep an eye on that and just build that um, how's our ground works crew Apologies that uh, things aren't. Okay. Right, that's nearly built, but we can't build the next stage until this is done. Right. Oh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, roundabout. Okay. <laughs> where where were we building a roundabout? It's over here, wasn't it? Got that road coming off there, coming down. Got this road coming down to here, and I put that in. So we got this bit of section of road here. We need that connected to give us the kind of access down into here. And then what I was going to do is just build a roundabout here. I think if I switch the grid on, we won't see it. I think I'm going to leave this to the spring so that we can actually see the grid against the background. See, here's another particularly vulnerable uh, kind of terminal here. What are we doing here? I mean, I'm surprised the happiness is holding up quite well. This is not patrolled, so we're not getting the... Again, this is a consequence of the, the police. Uh, let's just check the crime. Maybe they need some extra... Um, uh, let me just see. That the police station is good. How are we doing here? We're getting quite a lot of biological waste coming in. How's the... That's only 25%. It's kind of improving. 15%. 61%. Thirteen percent. I think we're going to be on our way to a pretty disastrous harvest next year. Um, we certainly got to improve this. Um, how much? We got fertilizer in here. It's just not being used. Again, I think what's happening is that. 
just going to cancel that as well because that's that's just cost me money but it's not giving me any benefit um <laughs> we may have to resort to importing crops to get things going how are we doing here yeah asphalt problems let me just check I did have a surplus of bitumen in here, but if we start, yeah, we got a surplus of bitumen. So, how is this footpath being built yet? It looks like it has been. So, where have we got now? We're going to, have to be very, very careful. Here. I want that demolished. Um, actually, this suddenly occurred to me. Oh, demolition crew. Um, don't want explosives. Okay. Um wonder if we can actually it's not suitable ways our construction waste metal scrap and all that can be we can make money from that can't we so right we're gonna need to demolish this get rid of you Again, this is all another truck go into here. We've got some kind of black pot pit of trucks coming into here. But anyway, we I think we'll sort that out. We'll probably build the road and there'll be a whole swarm of trucks coming out. Here we've got um, I think what we'll do is we we'll put the ordinary crew on that because I don't think we're going to get a, a paver down here so what we'll do is see if we can get ordinary workers in here to lay the asphalt it's only nine work days hurry up <laughs> there we are shouldn't take long to build this huh. you notice there every time the bus turns up to drop off workers it actually stops working right so now I think we got to demolish Um, right, that's gone that's gone um, the monument will be a little bit exposed in the short term because it will be there but we need to get rid of you it be in two steps that's going to be can't join it together then we'll see if we can get a road connection to this and see if we can actually sort this out. Um, do, do, do. Um, how's my... Sure, why, why are you not showing up as... Um, I allocate this to the road crew? Mm -hmm. I thought I had. Okay, um, it's a bit of a mystery, but I got you built there. Uh, where's the waste disposal guy? Right, this can wait 
just for the moment. That's not, we've done the groundworks, but we don't need to worry too much about. Get this done. It's actually a gravel road, isn't it? That's okay. Get this built. Um, This is going to need 34 tons of steel, which means we're going to need to try and manage that very, very carefully. Uh, da, da, da. On the 19th of January. Still 84%. Got nobody moving in here. This is These are going to be my litmus tests for once the population is expanding. Uh, da, da, da. Let's get back to the prefab factory. Yeah. Uh, right. What are you looking for? Steel, isn't that a surprise? We need 5.3 tons of steel. Has that been. I think that's been. Now remove you and you. If I can get. I think we're. Go with a mud road. There's a little bit of a connection there. But I have to be very, very careful now. Um, I think there's a tiny bit of footpath in there. It still hasn't been. Can't do oh. Game, don't do this to me. Um, kind of got caught now between uh, rock and a hard place. You got any workers? Yes, you got workers. The problem is this truck is seen as. I'm not sure how I can actually. Um, uh, let me just try something. What are you? See, that truck comes in because this one is stuck. Um, right, I'm going to try and force this because um, I can't get this truck out um, don't pump the control yeah um, If I can press shift. That's no, stuck. Let me just try something else we got. Let me just see. can I get a road out this way from this node? Wow, done it. <laughs> Looks like I didn't. Got him out. What I want to do now is get rid of that stupid little piece of footpath there. I want to remove that node. Um, you guys. You oh, the joys and joys that you remove that. What other footpath are you demolishing? Um, waiting for garbage disposal.
gaze. I think we're going to have to seriously think about upgrading this one as well. Uh, so we got a bit more effective because it's the truck is just too slow. Mm -hmm. okay, right, we'll stop production. Oh, it's just the heating plant. Probably intermittent workers. Oh, this is uh, a little bit. I mean, we've still got plenty of capacity on here, even if we aren't really building on fire. Where are you? Uh, and that should be well within range of the fire station. Definitely going to need more snow plows, um, especially over here. Right, sorry, I'm about going back over here. Uh, I think that bit of mud road is going to have to stay. Now, uh, here's the truck that's been trying to export. Looks like we're. What were you? Uh, I think we've just got rid of whatever was there but um okay hopefully now we're we'll actually make a bit of money here right we are now producing prefabs uh getting a few prefabs in right uh construction office prefabs Ugh. For the moment, you can just pick up from here. We got a uh, storage of 97 tons, so we don't need to build that just yet. Um, what do we need here? Groundworks. I should have got the groundwork started earlier, but that's okay. That says it's not connected. That's probably because there's no footpath connection here. Just put in. Right. Yeah. Um. Let's make sure that will now can now be allocated. Because if we can't allocate it, it goes all the way. And we'll get the groundworks crews now working on that. Um, that is not that important just at the moment. We can get the sewage lines built. That needs, I know it's not glamorous and we could probably do better things, but it's something that we do need to have done. Right, we're just about to finish this. And then what we'll do next is adjust this road uh, get you finished and then as I say what we'll do is get rid of this take a road off here down to here and then we're asphalt in this section so wait for him to get done right well He's obviously taking, making a bit of a meal of it, so. Uh, I think we can get the groundworks crew kind of pushing a little bit more onto this. Oops. Uh, concrete and gravel. How many jobs has the road crew got? Um, got a few jobs. I want you still focusing on upgrading the roads right, we've now finished this bit of road here now the problem we're going to have here is the vehicles coming up through here so we're going to have to pick up a asphalt road there put you there 
and then take you out. There's um, so a node in here. And then we're going to asphalt you all the way. the road crew on that and then they're gonna have to use the mud road again for a little while until we've got this built completely I'm a little bit unhappy about that actually uh -huh. cancel that it cause a little bit of disruption, but it's important. It needs to be done. Uh, let me just check here. In tons of steel, steel is going to be the big issue. That's why I, I really feel before we can push hard on this area, we've got to get this built and actually we got still recycling I wouldn't mind if this is there anything have I got anything that's a bit smaller from the recycling point of view um just put in recycling. Nope, nothing. I really thought I had something to do with. Um, the trouble is, a lot of the waste mods can be a bit hard to find. I'm just going to check the fields again. You're 36%. You're 35%. You're 99%. You're 81%. You're 38%. You're 150. You're 85. You're 89. You're 38. You're 20. And you're 72%. And the moment right I'm just gonna shift you the load we need to make sure the uh, yeah you, you guys are out of uh, drops okay we might have a problem uh, microbrewery what we got here okay we've got reserves of food but we're not might account for why our income has dropped a little bit um, simply because we've got that area there but it's the of our economy again exports right we're making a little bit from uh, cement a little bit for construction waste bitumen's up because we're not using it it's still meat is a major contributor but we're not doing it anyway. If we sorted this corner out, where are you? Um, lost it. Where is it? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you there. That will hook up that. Now, can I get a? Road back into there. That's building maintenance. And I'm just want to see if that's actually fixed things properly. Don't think it has actually. 
I'm just gonna let this run for a little while and see if this will actually get repaired if it's not we're just gonna have to demolish it um, which would be hard but at least I can clear it up but we'll give the game a chance to see if it will actually because we need what do we need we need steel mechanical components electronics so the R guys are gonna have to go down to here anyone picking up electronics no nope, we can't see anything from here okay. anyway we're now back in kind of good territory now and what I want to do now is finish this <laughs> uh, okay we're gonna trim this road back a little bit I don't want to go back into there because the game can get a bit strange. Uh, I think we can put you there. Right, what we're going to do is if we can get you trying to get it to 90%. Yeah. Well, just trim that. Well, let it form a natural curve. Yeah. Is that a natural curve? It's slightly unnatural curve, isn't it? Um, we know that that is true. Okay. Okay, we'll just do it. See if I can get this in very, very carefully. That's a bit better. Um, set for turn off the snapping put F4 back on again I think we'll accept that and then what I'm gonna do is we we'll put now we'll, we'll go with the one-way roads for the moment Actually, that's the wrong way around. Cancel. Right hand drive, not UK drive. Um, that can come there. So we've got road going off, one coming off, one going up that way, right hand drive. Uh, we're not going to put the other roads in just yet. Of course, we're going to have some fun building this. We may have to reverse the directions again uh, so that we can get this actually built. We'll probably have to do some jiggery po pokery with um, gravel roads to actually build in the roundabout. Actually, um, thoughts. Actually, I'm going to cancel that. try a slightly different approach with respect to building this roundabout um, can't get there's a another bit of road in here I think um, I think what I'm gonna do is we'll build the road out here then we're actually I'll just put it in just to show you what I'm thinking is do something like that. Actually, no. I can go out a bit further. Take it back to about there. 
we'll build the roundabout first and then we'll put the interchanges in i think that'll make it a little bit easier um da -da -da. We need that built. How are we doing down here? Right. I want to take advantage of the um, kind of lack of snow to get that built. Hopefully our sewage outfall won't burn down because if it does we'll be in a little bit of trouble. Um, Right, we're waiting on concrete. Um, let's just see if our guys up here are. Uh, yeah, they're fully committed, so we're not going to overload them anymore. I think it's the. Yeah. Wow. That looks a lot worse than it actually is because a lot of these have already finished their groundwork, so technically they shouldn't be on there, but uh, it's just easier to leave them. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to build in all this sewage pipes. So we might as well concentrate on that. This needs to be high priority. Um, where, yeah. I don't think my main construction guys are doing very much at the moment, are they? Yeah. Uh, they're not... They're not repairing this hunting hut, are they? Have a look. No. No, it's it's not. They're just not repairing it, are they? There must be something wrong with either this position or the mod. So what we're going to do is... Just going to have to demolish you. Sorry. Just get rid of it, please. See if these guys will. Bit of apology, guys. We are back on the 2nd of February, which is uh, the auto save. Because what happened was, is when I allocated the demolition to this area here, and what happened was, is the game crashed. So there's obviously quite a bit of a problem there. Now, I have had this situation before with respect to demolition so uh, so kind of everything i've just done is lost and i think i'm gonna have to replay back through and sort things out but so this is where i'm gonna leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting what i will do is play forward to march get out of the snow re basically repair what i've already just done and then we'll get back into in the and then what I'll do is I'll pick up where we left off in the next part. And it looks like we're kind of a little bit stuck with this thing until we can sort that out. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.